The equity funding scandal was not truly what we call today a data processing scandal. Equity funding was caused by the way they managed the computer environment and the lack of management of it and the lack of controls that were established. Under Bud's uh, presidency, they began the control objectives, which later became COBIT. We changed the terminology from, from control objectives and we developed the, uh, the COBIT practices. There was no linkage between IT and, and the business. So COBIT uh, provided that linkage through governance models, through controls frameworks and control objectives. The first version of COBIT was a, a, a book. We didn't even have PDFs at the time. I would argue that COBIT was a bit ahead of its time because it did put on the table the need to really look at holistically at how technology was driving business. I got so much interest with one of ISACA's best frameworks ever, and this was the COBIT framework. By that time, it was COBIT 4. It became very, very clear to me that this was a great control framework to help me look at risk, help me look at controls and practices within my processes, help me look at all those governance enablers and structures that I needed in place to be able to effectively govern and manage enterprise IT. There's something in it for everybody. If you're a board member, if you're an executive, if you're a management, or if you're even an analyst, 